Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So a few months back, I created a video called Show Selected Value, where I have shown how to show selected values from the slicers in a card. As you can see on my screen, I have a product slicer and a card visual. So if I select something in the product, you can see uh, I'm showing that value in the card visual as well. Now if I select multiple values, it will show those values as well. So as many values I select in the slicer, it will show those values. So this was a video I created. I'm going to give you the link of this video somewhere in the top and also I will provide the link in the description so you can watch that video if you want. So a user commented on that video that that I have a huge list of values in the slicer and when I'm selecting multiple values it becomes very hard to read those values. Is there any way so that we can make it more readable? So how to make it more readable? This is the question that we are going to answer in this video. So let me show you how to make it more readable. So I can open the measure. This selected filter is the measure that we are using this. I'm going to copy this measure and create a new measure. I will uh, name it as selected filter arranged. Let me summarize what we are doing in this measure. So here we are saying if the product column is filtered, then we are going to concatenate the list of products that we have provided here using a comma separator. So after each value, there will be a comma separator. And then we have sorted it using product column in the ascending order. And if nothing is selected in this product slicer, then it is going to return no filter selected. So this was the measure. Now what we are going to change in this measure is instead of using this comma separator, we are going to use something else that is Unicat 10. So what this Unicat 10 is, it's a Unicode for a new line. Instead of using comma separator, we are going to use a new line separator. So after this first value, Amarilla, this Caratera is going to go to the next line and Montana will go to another line and so on. So let's click on enter. And now instead of showing it in a card visual, we are going to show it in a table visual. Let's use this arranged measure. See, so uh, we'll use it like this. So whatever values we select here, it is going to give us in a new line. One more benefit we have in a table visual is suppose you have selected many values in the product slicer and the values goes beyond the page then you will get a scroll so that you can scroll and see all the values. So if I reduce the size of this table see we are getting a scroll. So now we can scroll and we can see the values. So by changing the visual to a table visual and by using the new line Unicode as a separator, you can make it more readable and see all the values selected in the product slicer. So that was it for this video. I hope you liked this video and if you liked it, do not forget to subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.